associated with these storms, and it is going to be the potential for lightning and also heavy rain that will be the primary threats with anything that manages to pop up this afternoon. Right now, we have a cluster of heavy rain producing storms sliding across northern portions of the Pikes Peak region, including in Teller County, as well as northern portions of El Paso County near Northgate and up toward Monument. Monument, expect the rain to really pick up here within about the next 10 to 15 minutes where you are. These showers are continuing to slide off toward the north and east. Japita Park, you're getting some rain right now. Woodland Park, you're in between cells, but expect rain to clip the city here as we head through the next 30 minutes or so around the Air Force Academy. And again, up toward Northgate is where we are tracking a nice heavy burst that could impact travel along I-25. Farther toward the south, we do have a few scattered showers just off toward the west of Beulah and Rye. We are continuing to track a few scattered cells also along the San Grande and Cristo Mountains. Over the high country, we have a bit of rain to contend with as well. All thanks to the monsoon that is bringing us plenty of water to work with this afternoon. Taking you into the rest of the evening, we'll keep these storms around through the beginning of the evening, but notice as we take you into the first part of tonight, most everything begins to wind down. By midnight, skies will clear and we'll continue to track that trend as we head into your early Wednesday morning. Here's a look at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll wake up once again to plenty of sunshine around southern Colorado, but We'll do it all again tomorrow afternoon. Clouds will begin to thicken up as we head into the late afternoon. I do expect scattered showers and thunderstorms to develop across the high country first. These will slide farther toward the east, eventually impacting the I-25 corridor as we take you into the late afternoon and also into the evening. This is a look at 8 o'clock. The storms tomorrow will be capable of producing heavy rain once again. But they won't last for too long. By midnight tomorrow night, everything comes to an end. Temperatures tonight will be falling into the 60s and, yes, 70s across the eastern plains. 40s and 50s more common west of the interstate. High temperatures tomorrow. It'll be another day of 90s and triple digits, so it's expected to get hot once more. 70s and 80s for our mountains and mountain valleys. We will keep this warm and unsettled pattern going through much of the work week. Through Friday, we're in the low 90s with a 20 to 30 percent chance for storms. We'll keep the chance for storms up as we head into Saturday, but notice those temperatures begin to cool back down. We drop them by about five degrees, which puts us in the mid 80s through the weekend, and we'll keep the 80s in place through early next week. So, a little bit of relief here as we head into the weekend. Pueblo 99 degrees tomorrow, 100 degrees will be your high temperature on, on Thursday. Friday 98 degrees with low 90s then over the weekend and into early next week. We'll have a daily chance for storms around Pueblo and Canyon City. Also looking for a daily chance for storms. 96 degrees tomorrow, 98 then on Thursday. Hopefully we'll get some nice heavy rain to move over the Hayden Pass fire to help with the firefighting efforts there. 98 degrees on Thursday and then temperatures fall into the 80s by next Sunday. In Teller County tomorrow we hit 80 degrees with temperatures then and getting back into the 70s Friday through the weekend. And a daily chance for storms is also expected around Teller County, which is very typical for this time of year where we wake up to those beautiful mornings. And then during the afternoon, we get a few showers that move overhead and usually get out of here rather quickly. So nice to get the free.